Greetings folks, Daniel Wickwire here and welcome back to Monster Bites, where we discuss various facts and trivia about kaiju and monsters in all forms of media. Okay folks, it's time for part 3. You know the drill. We got a few arcade titles and a Super Famicom game as well. Thank you again to Mr. Zilla 2006 Abel for the idea. Now let's get started. First is an unmade game, but we cover all types on this list. Rodan from 1991 was planned for release on the Famicom slash NES, but the project was cancelled. Though I couldn't find any official reason for it, likely because Rodan lacks the marketability of Godzilla, originally touted as being the sequel to Godzilla Monster of Monsters, it was later claimed that it was converted to Godzilla 2, which is the game we'll actually be talking about next. Godzilla 2 War of the Monsters was released on the NES in 1992. Funny thing is, the game was never released in Japan, which I found very unusual. This is another one of those games that you play as the JSDF and fend off monsters, using everything from tanks, jets, Mazer tanks, Super X2, and even the Moonlight SY3. You play slash construct your vehicles, set up a defense and destroy all attacking kaiju. Battles include a somewhat convoluted slot machine system that isn't explained well and the option to choose between multiple attacks. You encounter the usual suspects like Godzilla, Hedora, King Ghidorah, and Mothra, with the latter even being an ally unit in certain maps. The game was generally panned for its difficulty and being so different from its predecessor but it is still an interesting game nonetheless. Now it's time for soccer! Battle Soccer, Champion of the Field for the Super Famicom. Released in 1992 and developed by Pandora Box and published by Bon Presto, as you would assume, this game is all about soccer. The teams you can choose are made up of characters from various franchises like Godzilla, of course, Gundam, Kamen Rider, and Ultraman with their corresponding villain teams to go with. Each character has a special attack that correlates with its own abilities. It includes the standard versus and tournament modes, but hey, it's a soccer game. What else would you expect? And the final game for the day, the arcade game simply titled Godzilla, released in Japan in 1993. As you would expect, it's a 1v1 tournament fighter. You battle through various stages, fighting both playable and non-playable characters, with cameos littered throughout. Your special attacks being beam attacks and the like. Sadly, even though it is an arcade title, the character sprites are a little rough looking. On the flip side, there are a lot of nice and smooth animations. A few example characters being Godzilla, because what else would you expect, Megalon, Mecha King Ghidorah, and Mecha Godzilla with appearances from King Caesar, Monda, and Jet Jaguar. What did you all think of this week's games? That Godzilla arcade game has my curiosity piqued. Have you played any of these titles we mentioned? Leave your comments below and maybe a suggestion of what you'd like to see in the next video. Don't forget to check out the KMR Facebook page, Twitter account, and my Twitter account to keep up with news on this channel. I'll put all the important links in the description below Thank you all very much for tuning in. We will be back in two weeks with the next episode, and you all take care.